Hello everyone, this is Alex Bavolsic from HowToDoTech.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the settings on your iHome dock using iPod Touch, iPad, iPad Mini, and iPhone. To do this, you're going to need to download one of two apps and that is going to be one of the iHome apps. As you can see on the bottom right of the screen, I have the iHome Yellow H app, I guess you could call it. It's really iHome Set, but the icon is a yellow H. If you have a wireless dock, not the connected type like I have right here, you're going to need to download the iHome set that has a blue H. And basically the way it connects to your, to, to your device is going to be a little different, but other than that, it's all the same, but you will need to distinguish between the two apps. So once you have it downloaded and you're connected to your device or just connected over wireless, you can open the app. And then from here, you'll be brought to the iHome set app. Now, it recognizes my device is the i 890 and then it gives me my different options. Right at the top, I have my power state, which is on, and then I have my mode, which is iPod. I can do my radio tuner, or I can change my volume from here. If I scroll down, I have two alarms. I have the device alarm 1 and device alarm 2. Different devices will have a different amount of alarms. I've seen up to four, and I've seen as little as one. So you can choose to set those, and the great thing about this, your device does not have to be connected for those alarms to play. You can choose, say, a song from the radio to wake you up, you can choose a alert sound, but all of that's built into the device, so maybe you don't like plugging in your device every night to charge, you can select a device alarm to wake you up, that way you don't need to plug it in every time. So again, you have two of those, and you can choose the snooze duration from here. We also have nap, and then the nap duration right there. I can do the time remaining. Nap is basically going to be, I'm taking a nap, I want you to wake me up at this time, but I don't want to set a full alarm. So I just hit the nap button, and um, I can choose how long it's going to let me sleep right from there, and it also tells me the time remaining. We have sleep, which is kind of like the opposite. I'm going to sleep, I don't know when I'm waking up. But I do know I want to fall asleep to some music, so play the music for mine right now is set to 60 minutes. So play the music for an hour, by then I'll be asleep, I don't need to listen to the music anymore, so stop it there. Now we can go to the equalizer, I have the choice of choosing my treble, bass, or my 3D effect. I'm going to keep it all as it is, but again, you can change it depending on what you like. The biggest thing is the brightness. Now, some people have complained that their clock brightness is terrible. As you can see, if I lower it down to one, zero, it's almost not there at all. And I can change it to two, or I can change it to seven. Some people think seven's too bright at night. I'm trying to sleep. Some people think, you know, six isn't bright enough or whatever. You can change it right there, and that's something that I found very, very helpful in this app. You can also change the 24-hour clock on or off, as well as time and calendar, and you can hit time sync for just everything to sync, just like on your iPod, iPad, or whatever iDevice you're using. Finally, you can search for a firmware update, which I'm not going to do because I know my software is up to date, but all you're going to have to do is click that, and you can go to your firmware update. So that is all the settings that you can change. Again, it's going to be a little different if you are using your wireless app, but other than that, it's basically the same. So we really hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in a comment below or email us at howtodotechyt at gmail.com. Feel free to also message us on Facebook or you can um, message us on Google Plus as well. Both Google Plus and Facebook page pages for How To Do Tech are present. And um, please don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one to be alerted. And if you'd like something to refer back to, we do have a written version of this tutorial linked down below. So now you can click on one of these four categories to be taken to a another playlist of different tutorials that we have to offer you. So I am Alex Bavalsik, and I will see you next time.